Okay, so I have been on a little bit of a hiatus. I uh, haven't been filming very much. I haven't been doing much over the past month, two months. Uh, mostly I just needed a break. But on top of that, you know, gas prices were kind of crazy there for a little while. And uh, they still are. I figured out I'm riding around this beat up old minivan here. That's one of the reasons I haven't been doing very much lately. Because I'm just burning through too much gas. But I think I might have found a solution to that. No, that's nothing special. It's just a cheap little Suzuki 250. But the gas tank holds less than four gallons. And I've already put 200 miles on it, and I've only put maybe two gallons in it myself. It came with gas in it already. So, uh, with the gas that was in there, and what I put in there is less than two gallons, really. Uh, so, 200 miles on that compared to the van that gets, you know, six gallons a day. Uh, yeah, it's a huge improvement. It's already insured, legal, and everything. And yeah, now we're going to move inside and talk about what the video is really about. So I picked up this Placino telescopic fishing rod off Amazon. If you're interested in that, check out the description. So, today's video is about going minimal, carrying as the least amount of stuff that you can. And honestly, I found a way to carry a lot more than I would really need to. All I really need is a couple of hooks and some worms. But this found that I found this little box. Uh, was able to throw some hooks, some jig heads, biospawn uh, plasma tails, crankbait, whopper plopper, a little tiny spinner. Uh, some craws and some swim baits. And I've got this uh, six and a half foot telescopic rod with an ultralight reel and six pound trilene. And well, let's face it, I can't fit this in my pocket. I could put the worms and the hooks in my pocket, but this whole thing here, I need a little bit more. So, found me this little jaw, drawstring, drawstring backpack from Runkle. They sent me that a long time ago. Um, now, since I'm taking the motorcycle and all I have for carrying stuff is the saddlebags on the side, you can't put like a whole backpack or anything in there. They're kind of small. So, this is all I need right here. And as for my camera gear, I have a GoPro right there, chest strap. I got batteries and a small little pocket carrying case there. And I've got a motorcycle mount. That's all I really need. One more thing I forgot. You always need a pair of pliers. Fishing pliers. With this and a carabiner, I can just clip it to my belt, belt loop, carry the pliers in my back pocket. And now I'm all set.
Oh, got one. Hit it pretty hard. It's a nice little green sunfish. Swim out of the roots to grab it. You got it. I got it. Oh, I was hoping it'd be a bass, but it's a, another sunfish. Biggest one of the day. That one feels pretty good. It might be a bass. That's a bass. There we go. Finally, something for the thumbnail. Nobody's gonna watch a video with a green sunfish on it. Not a very big bass, but fought pretty hard and he was not coming off. There we go. So, when you buy a motorcycle, you pretty much have to become a motorcycle mechanic yourself. <laughs> I hope I got that on camera. Fish came completely out of the water after it. Got him. Wasn't sure if he was on there or not. Yeah, that's a little one. Make sure my camera's on again. There you go. On the telescopic placino rod. Oh, that's a fish. There we go. Hail Guadalupe Bass.
He was not coming off. Let's get up under this tree. Oh, as soon as that hit the water. A little bit better, still a tiny fish. Got the quads are hanging out in the slack water catching anything that comes down this, whatever this is. A little bit better, still not very big. Not that they get very big. Oh, that's a fish, that's a good one. That's the best one so far today for sure. What is going on there? That's a nice quad, oh my god. That is a huge quad. Wow. I mean, as far as Guadalupe bass go, that is a monster. And that was on a barbless hook, too. I can't believe I actually landed him. Jeez, he is less than a quarter of an inch shy of the current record out of this river. Does qualify for a big fish award, though. That is a nice, nice quad. So let me get him released real quick. He's swimming off good there.